Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Image Converter Plus to resize your favorite pictures. It's easy. I'll open Image Converter Plus and import my images. I'll click to perform an operation on these images and choose Resize. And if I click on the plus sign, I'll see my options. How big or how small would you like your images to be? You can set their new dimensions in pixels or as a percent of their current size. If I enter 200% width and 200% height and then click Start, all the images I imported will become twice as wide and twice as tall as they were before. Simple. Click on More for advanced options and you can fine-tune the process. You may find it more convenient to set your picture's new dimensions in inches or centimeters rather than pixels. You can choose your image resolution in DPI dots per inch. More dots per inch mean a crisper, sharper image, but also a bigger file. So 72 dots per inch look great on a computer screen. For everyday printing, you'll want at least 300 DPI. And for photo quality printing, 600 DPI. Notice that as I change my document size and resolution, Image Converter Plus automatically fills in my pixel count accordingly. You can also control how the program resizes your images. 99% of the time, the default bilinear method will give you the best results. But if you're working with very small images, or if you're only using a few colors, you may want to try the nearest neighbor algorithm instead. Now, what if the dimensions I've chosen aren't the same shape as my picture? For instance, let's say I want my image to be twice as tall as it is now, but only half as wide. I have three options. First, by default, Image Converter Plus keeps your image's proportions. Your image will change size, but not shape. If I turn off that feature, my image will be squeezed or stretched to match the dimensions I've chosen. That's ideal for an abstract design, but not so good for a photograph. Second, I can size the image to fit in the space I've defined. That space is only half as wide as my original image, so my image will shrink to half its original size. The whole picture fits in the space and leaves some of that space blank. Or third, I can have the image fill in the space I've defined. My space is twice as tall as the image is now, so it will expand to twice its original size. I won't have any blank space left over, but of course that also means I'll only keep part of the original image. I can use a line to choose which part of the original image to keep, left, center, or right. Now I just choose my file format and destination and click Start and I'm done. My pictures are all resized to match the options I chose. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us on the web at www.imageconverterplus.com slash video.